Hello everyone, this will be a tutorial on how to teach yours to lie down naturally. For this tutorial I'll be using my rescue horse Ace. He has a bit of a droopy eye at the moment as you can see but it's nothing to worry about. Ace is a six year old quarter horse who I rescued a few months ago. He's quite nervous and very skeptical around people and new things although he might not look it in this video. He's had no previous training in laying down. The only thing is I rewarded him once for lying down when he was in the paddock, but that's it. So to do this, you want to make sure you have some soft ground, like the sand in the round yard that you can see I have. It's good if you choose a quiet day to do this and there's not a lot of things going on, a lot of distractions. Um, the horse needs to be able to feel as safe as possible for him to choose to lie down. So the way I do this is that I want the horse to offer the behavior on his own and then I reward him for it. I use treats. You can choose not to use treats if you like, but I like to use treats because it just gets the horse to try that a little bit harder. So you can see here that I've just taken him into the middle of the round yard and I'm just asking him to lower his head. When you see a horse rolling in the paddock, you'll first see them walking and they'll look for the perfect spot and they'll put their head down and then they'll just gather up their feet and then down they go. So I want to use this first bit of the behavior to put the head down to get him to think about it. So I do this by either I put some downward pressure underneath his halter and then as soon as he puts his head down I release or I will just print gently behind his ears until he lowers his head and then release that pressure. Every time he puts his head down I reward him with a good boy and a few treats and a pat sometimes and just leaving him alone for a little bit. He's very intelligent and he really tries to do what you want him to do. So you can see he's offering to lower his head by himself sometimes and I reward that too because I want it to be his idea to lie down. There's heaps of methods to teach a horse to lie down. I like this method the most because it's his choice to lie down and I don't have to teach him heaps of things before it doesn't take a long time so like there's another method where you teach a horse to bow and then you teach him to kneel and then you teach his head to come round until he finally yields to lie down so but that does take a really long time this took me about 13 minutes with Ace to get him to lie down and so I could reward the behavior it will take him longer to be able to do it on cue but it didn't take long to get him to lie down in the first place so now you can see that he's getting a lot more confident and comfortable with putting his head down. He's doing it with very light pressure and he's offering the behavior by himself. So now we can move on to the next step. So what I want to do now is I want to teach him to walk around with his head down. So the horse in the paddock when he wants to lie down he'll put his head down and walk around with his head on the ground for a little while until he finds the spot. So that's what I want to teach him to do. So here you can see he's offering to put his head down now that I've changed positions, which is really good. I'm now asking him to just move off the pressure and just walk around me. And as soon as he drops his head, I'm going to reward him. He's coming in a little bit close to me. I just want him to put that, have a little bit more space. And as soon as he drops his head, if he offers to drop his head, there, I reward him. Very good. So now I'm just going to go back to standing and letting him offer the behavior a few more times. You can see he's quite happy to just keep lowering his head and getting the treat. You can see him pushing his tail a little bit, soon you'll see him kicking up his back legs, pulling the ground, those are all good signs that he's getting the idea. Now I'm just going to try and raise the criteria a little bit, so when he lowers his head I'm not going to reward him and just jiggle the rope away from the tree and just see what he does next. And there you can see that he pawed, which is a great next step. So now that we can see a little bit more movement happening with his feet, I'm just going to take that opportunity to get him to walk around me again and see if he'll lower his head. 
and there you can see that he did it almost straight away much quicker than last time so I just ask him for a few more steps and then reward here I just decided to just back him up just to see what his reaction was going to be started jiggling the rope a little bit and just checking he's still offering to lower his head drive him forwards again just playing around with the idea of moving his feet in all directions and seeing if he'll lower his head. So here, there he's lowered his head nicely again, so reward him for that. You can see swishing of the tail, he's thinking about things, thinking about maybe lying down. Driving forwards again, nicely lowering the head. Now keep him going, seeing how far he'll go. Very nice, so reward. So we ask him again, go around, I'm asking for a little bit more each time, I'm starting to walk with him a little bit more, trying to get him to go where he wants to go, a little bit hard because he wants to stay in the middle with me, but I want him to choose the spot where he wants to lie down. So now we change direction and we try the same thing. It's when you change direction, it's almost like starting over. So I only ask for a little bit at first and then I ask for a little bit more. I don't expect him to be just as good as on this side as he is on the other side. And the reason I change direction is because I want him to be comfortable seeing me from both ways. Especially him because he's fairly nervous. I wouldn't worry too much about it with a very quiet horse but for his sake it just makes him a little bit more comfortable learning it on both sides now when we change directions again he actually takes a big step forward so this time he takes a few steps lowers his head and pulls the ground a few times then you can see him that he does it again the next time I ask so now he's really starting to think about it Now you can see swishing of the tail again, he keeps pulling the ground, even more now he's walking off by himself, looking down, looking for a spot, having less attention on me and more on where he's going, he's looking down and I'm rewarding him for all that, swishing tail again, kicking up the back legs, all signs that he's starting to think about lying down I ask him to move off again so I'm rewarding when he has less attention on what I'm doing so that he can actually go off and do what he wants to do rather than trying to figure out when he's going to get the treat so as soon as he walks off and trying to do his own thing I'm rewarding him and I'm rewarding him for every try as well. Every head down, I'm talking to him, saying good boy, giving him some treats, some pats, still swishing the tail. Here I decide to take the lead off because I'm a bit worried about him stepping on it and getting a bit of fright. You can see he had a bit of a spook there when I tried to take it off. Um, I asked him to move off again. Now he's got complete freedom to move wherever he wants. But he's still thinking about lying down. So I keep him moving, keep his feet moving. Rewarding the head down there. And some trees. Ask him to move off again. Putting his head down, having a look. Really checking things out. Asking to go again. 
As soon as he moves, I'm going to start standing still now. I'm going to stop following him around. I'm going to just let him do... I don't want to interrupt his behavior now that he's getting really close. Okay. I made the mistake of when he lied down in the paddock that time. And I rushed over to him to give him a treat. And he got a bit fright. And he stood up. So I have to stand completely still and just let him do what he wants to do. Even if he lies down, I'm just going to wait until he's about to get back up before I reward him. So that he doesn't think that... I'm going to pounce on him when he lies down in a vulnerable position. I'm just going to stand still and if he stops and looks at me and I don't think it's good enough then I just ask him to go. And if I think it's good then I reward him and give him a treat. But I want to back off, give him some space, let him do what, what he wants to do. I don't want to crowd him and I want to stop following him. But if he does stop moving his feet then I ask him to keep moving his feet. Now he's changed directions by himself. He's looking for a place. I say very good. That was very good. He started gathering up his feet. Go back to where I was. Ask him to move again. That time I didn't reward him when he put his head back up and down he goes. Okay, I'm still not rewarding him. I'm just letting him do what he wants to do. And now I reward him. Now I give him lots of reward, lots of treat, lots of pats, telling him he did a good job. Okay, and if he stands up straight afterwards, that's fine. Because he's a really nervous horse, I don't expect him to stay down when I walk up to him. That's later down the road. Okay, I'm going to ask him again. See if he'll offer the behavior again, which would be great if sometimes they don't. Sometimes you just want to end the session right there and then, but I have the feeling that he would maybe lie down again. So I asked for it. He had a look knew he had done the right thing, so he's looking for the right answer again. Pulling the ground, looking at me, I keep asking him. He looks. He's truly trying to find the right place. And down he goes. Remember, I'm not rewarding him just yet. You can if you have a very quiet horse that you know isn't going to get a fright. And now I start rewarding him when he's on his way up. And very good. And that's it. Later on, I can start rewarding him while he's on the ground. And start walking up to him and then teaching him that he will only get rewarded while he's on the ground. So he stays down there. Okay, because of course I don't want him getting up as soon as he lies down. But I'm not too worried about that just yet. And I'm sure that he'll just get more comfortable the more times he does it. And sooner or later he'll just decide that it's okay. Alright, hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you very much for listening.